Shukrani sana kuendelea kutegea usasa na dini. Na tunazidi kusonga mbele katika mazungumzo ya siku ya leo. Uh, moja kwa moja ninapotoa nafasi kwa uh, wasikilizaji pale wanajipo uh, sio si wanajipo wasikilizaji wetu kuuliza swali lakini kabla ya hapo ningetaka nijue Nash utueleze mm -hmm. kidogo mm -hmm. ni kwa nini huko weza kuambia mzazi kile ambacho unakipitia? Asante kwa hilo swali. Sababu ya kutuambia mzazi ni kwa sababu ya the African culture. Hii kitamaduni yetu kia Afrika, mambo yoyote kuhusiana na sex, haufei kuongea na mzazi. Unakuta it's a very sensitive topic kwao. Ya kwamba hata ukijaribu kwa uliza na kumia nita kuchapa wema ni kuchune, ni unajaribu kusema. Hata kupe nafasi ya kujeleza mpaka mwisho. Ha, kupe nafasi ya kujeleza. Sayi mefanya tukaogopa wazazi sana. Mm -hmm. Na usipo ongea hizi mambo na watoto wako, watafunzwa na mtandao. Mana na, wa, na warafiki zao, mana watenda waingie, waone alafu wata apply. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri mzazi ya kwe free. Kama mimi wazazi wangu walikuwa African parents eh. Wa Afrika ambayo. <laughs> Afrika halisi. <laughs> Jambu kailo uwezi ongea na wata kidogo. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo nilijificha sana. Hata kwa kwa my siblings ambao ni wakubwa. Mimi ndo last mm -hmm. kwetu. Singeza kuambia kitu chochote. Nilinyamazia kabisa. Ya pengine marafiki hapa na pale ndo walijua struggle yangu mm -hmm. e, lakini si wazazi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Nafiri kwamba mshauri kutokana kwamba alivyosema Nash kwamba hichi ni kizazi ambacho kimedigitika si kama zamani. Mm -hmm. Mitandao ya kijamii kwenye simu kila mahali mm -hmm. iko. Wazazi tusipokuwa makini huenda tukapoteza watoto wetu. Yes. The big part ya kuzuia kuzuia hii punyeto inakuja from parents. Kwa sababu, as we said in the earlier discussion, ni kuwa inaanza in puberty. In puberty, kuna vitu nyingi sana zina happen kwa mwili, mili za watoto. A lot of biological processes. Hapo ndiyo mtu wana discover their sexual orientation, sexual identity na nini. Na you find parents hawapati watoto sex education. So hizo vitu zote zina happen kwa mwili yako. You are confused. You don't know what to do about it. Example kama ni feelings hizo za ku feel you want feelings of intimacy it's a stage that every person anapitia in life lakini since you have no one to talk to in the process ya exploration because huwa inaanza na touch yes there are different ways mtu ujipata kwa hii tabia punyeto but mostly huwa inaanza unaguza una feel unafanya nini but now when you feel ujui what to do with those feelings now you don't know who to ask because the parents who are supposed to be the primary support system ya watoto wame wamekwama kwa culture you are not talking about that topic wana watoto wanaanza hivyo mpaka sasa inakuwa addiction mm -hmm. so the bigger part parents should be involved in their children's life again even here ku feel secluded lack of approval lack of kupendwa because human beings are Tumeumbwa kupendwa. Tumeumbwa kupendwa. Mm. Na hata watoto wadogo na teenagers, culture ina dictate you give instructions mm. and your instructions are followed. But tuna forget the part ya kuwapatia comfort, kuwapatia approval ili wakati unapitia something mtoto anaweza kuja kwako and you talk about it. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo when children lack that, wanapata wameingia kwa hizi tabia na hawana mtu wa kuwashauri mm -hmm. ama kuongea nao. Kwa wazazi tumekuwa wazazi hatuwi marafiki wa watu wetu. Yes. Maana rafiki ni mtu ambaye anakupenda, anakujali, mm -hmm. anakupa mm -hmm. nafasi ya kuzungumza na yeye unamfungulia moyo mm -hmm. basi na kuogopa. Wazazi hatuna hiyo room Atuna. ya kuwa rafiki na watoto wetu. Mm -hmm. Na kwa haraka kabisa kwako mchungaji kisha tutoe nafasi ya maswali kuulizwa kisha mweze kujibu. Mm -hmm. uh, unadhani kwamba uh, ina vipi taifa. Kwa sababu tumeona vitu hivi kifanyika hadharani. Tumeona pia e, hizi video zikisambaa kwenye mitandao ya kijamii, watu wanafanya tu hadharani, wana wanachafua, wana najisi ardhi. Kuna athari gani katika taifa? Uh, athari kubwa ambayo tunapata katika taifa na jamii ni kwamba moral standard inashuka. Unajua kuna kitu watu tunasema moral wisdom. Moral wisdom is the uh, a nation's standard of uh, morality. Mm -hmm. Morality ni tabia za taifa. Na tukiruhusu haya mambo ya endeleo unapata kwamba tutainua watu ambao ni mo vijana, mawazee, wanawake ambao ni mo imoro. Kwa hivyo tabia za usherati zina, zina kihiri, zina kuwa nyingi. Uh, tabia za homosexuality, uh, gayism, lesbianism, uh, zina kihiri. Maana tabia hizi huwa zinaanza na mambo kama haya. 
na pia tabia za pornography zinakuwa kuwatch hizi sinam, uh, sinema sinema uh -huh. uh, wanaziita blue movies uh, wakati zinakuwa nyingi unapata moral standard of a nation uh, inaharibika na kwa hivyo ndoa zinaanguka uh, watoto wanaharibika tunakuwa na young young mothers na maanisha teens wanapata watoto wakiwa very young tunapata na irresponsible men uh, single mothers wanakuwa wengi na kwa hivyo kitu ile kubwa ambayo inaadhiri taifa ni moral standard number two ni defilement of a nation maana bila nasema sababu ile niliwatema hawa watu inchi na watema wakanani ni kwa sababu wame wamenajisi nchi na kwa hivyo tukizidi na kukubali tabia hizi hii nchi yetu itatutapika itatu, na inchi kutapika watu ni kukataa kuzama mama zao kuwa na maafa mengi unapata kwamba tunajaribu mambo kwa nchi yetu watufanikiwi maji yanachafuka yani hewa yetu inaharibika na kwa hivyo pamoja na haya yote ambayo tunazungumza mimi naomba inchi iweze kumrudia Mungu vijana wabadilike uh, vijana kwa wazee wabadilike maana wa Kolosai tatu msari wa tano inakosoa mambo haya inasema kwamba tuue mambo haya we put to death whatever belongs to earthly nature sexual immorality impurity lust evil desires and greed which is idolatry mm -hmm. bible inasema u, 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 masturbation usherati mambo haya yote ni uabudu wa sanamu kwa hivyo wakati mtu anafanya masturbation anaelewa na abudu sanamu na sanamu nyuma yake ni pepo mm -hmm. kwa hivyo ni uabudu wa shetani unajua watu wanafikiri kuabudu shetani kwenda kuinamia shetani. shetani lakini tabia hizi zinamwabudu shetani because it is idolatry mm -hmm. na kwa hivyo turudie Mungu kama taifa haya basi moja kwa moja jitambulishe jina lako nani kisha ulize swali uh, kwa jina ni Manuel Mumo swali langu ni unajua kuna vijana ambao kama vijana ambapo mtu anafanya kitu kama hii anaogopa ku, kusema kwa mtu kama mchungaji hivi kwa sababu watu anaona ni kama ni aibu ama kwa wazazi tuseme kwamba uko na marafiki kama hao afu kisha wanakuambia unaweza wasaidiaje marafiki zao mm -hmm. sijui swali hili kama zinaenda kwa mchungaji anaogopa kuambia mchungaji mzazi lakini anaongea na marafiki uh, it's totally in order maana social mwingine akijiandaa kujibu swali yeah, social settings are very important kuna vijana wana trust their own friends Uh, na ni sawa tu kumwambia rafiki yako lakini sasa pia rafiki huyu anafaa kuwa ni rafiki gani unajua unaweza ambia kijana na kupatia nguvu anamwambia hata mimi nafanyanga hiyo mambo karibu karibu tuendelee you know hii ni kawaida kwani umekuwa umelala wapi au juangi ndio inatupatia raha sasa inategemea ni rafiki upi ambao umeenda kwake kwa hivyo mtu akija kwako ukiwa kijana akuuliza hilo swali a uh, msaidie kama unajua hauwezi msaidia mpeleke kwa msaidizi mm -hmm. lakini kama wewe kijana kuna mtu amekuja kwako ame confess ili jambo usimpatie empowerment aendelee lakini msaidie kumuonyesha kwamba maana wewe ni kijana umeokoka si ni kweli mm -hmm. kwa hivyo vijana wale mmeokoka saidia nani vijana wale wajaokoka kama wale pia wameokoka lakini wanasumbuka na swali kwa hiyo ni vizuri kwa makini ni rafiki gani ambaye unashirikiana naye yeah. yeah. jina langu ni sisi swali langu ni Unaezaje saidia mtu ambaye um, ameingia kwa masturbation juu ya kuwa addicted na nini na pornography. Mhm, mm asante sana kwa swali lako. Mwingine yule aulize. Kwa jina ni Mtume Livingston na eh, swali langu ni hili. Ni ya kwamba nimekuwa na msichana mmoja ambaye amekuwa na shida sana. Na yeye hutumia vyombo vya stima, yani vibrator. Sasa tuliona siku moja stima inawazima zima tu tukakimbia kufikiria ni kuanguka ameanguka kukuta tukakuta um, kuna mashine ameingiza kwa stima na ameingiza so mtu kama huyo tunaweza msaidia namna gani kwa sababu hiyo ni chombo cha stima na kama anawezo na stima je mtu atamweza kama mwanangu hai ehe jina ni an karaoke swali ni tukiangalia now eh, our recent world One of the major things I'm going to promote uh, masturb masturbation it's social media uh, online. So what is the best way kama jamii as Christians as the church how best do we cap this uh, to watch to jaribu ku, ku cap kwa social media what can we do sababu kwa kama ni memes kama ni videos kila kitu ina promote the world inafanya inakaa kani kitu mzuri ama si shida so kama sisi wengine what best do we do kwa social media cha kwa individuals na hao wengine kwa social media how best do we do that do we cap mm -hmm. 
Haya basi. Sasa moja kwa moja ambapo nitaanza na mshauri yule ambaye amekuwa akiona picha chafu na ameingia kwenye punyeto. Atasaidika vipi? Kama mshauri tutamsaidia namna gani? Okay. Mtu mwenye already ako in masturbation, the first step ni kukubali wewe mwenyewe that you want to come out of it. Because psychologically na hata spiritually, unless ukubali wewe mwenyewe uko na shida awezi saidika because as much as tunaita shida kuna watu wanaona si shida so ukakuwa wewe you are enjoying it uone shida ujui madhara yake uwezi saidika so the first step ni kukubali uko na shida then utafute mtu wa kukusaidia and there are many places unaweza saidika kama pastor yuko hapa washauri na washauri wengi si si mahali kote watu washauri ni wakulipwa like hapa tukunakuru kuna PGH kuna a section inaitwa youth friendly there are psychological counselors there who unaenda unaongea in confidentiality na watakusaidia bila malipo bila malipo hapo ukiingia tu hakuna kulipa mm -hmm. na everything you share is confidential because mm -hmm. many wanaogopa ku share in fear of stigmatization utajajiwa and everything so the first step ni kukubali nina shida na ninataka kusaidia na wanahifadhi usiri wako vizuri na yes. mimi nakwamba vituo kama hivi iko katika maeneo mengine pia nchini maana yake tunatazamwa kote nchini ziko aha mm. na umesema kwamba mgonjwa lazima akubali kwamba ni mgonjwa sivyo yes. haya kuna swali lingine ambalo nafikiri litaenda kwako mchungaji uh, maswali mawili yale nafikiri litaenda kwako mchungaji mambo ya mitandao ya kijamii ambalo uligusia kidogo mwanzoni na pia yule ambaye anatumia mpaka vifaa vya yani amekuwa addicted mpaka anatumia vifaa vya stima ya yeah. zinaitwa mm. tunaziita sex toys mm -hmm. na zimeingia katika society yetu zimetoka ulaya ulaya ndi wako na hizi tabia na kwa hivyo mtu huyu maana inaonekana addiction yake imeenda to the level of uh, kutumia sex toy uh, huyu sasa anafaa deliverance kuna mambo ya yes counseling is important however pia hapo ndio Yesu akatuambia na ametutuma tutoe mapepo maana kuna hali fulani inaweza kuwa ni pepo mtu yule akiyekelewa mikono wa ombewe atafunguliwa uh, social media ningesema ya kwamba kama vile tulitangulia kusema Uh, sometimes take a break from social media. You, 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 you don't have to be on social media all the times. Na kutoka kumaanishi kwamba hadhi yako ya maisha itashuka. Ama wewe digitali. Yeah. <laughs> so you can you can pull out uh, na pia you can choose kama mimi niko social media but I choose who my friends are. Niki notice kwa Facebook mtu ana post vitu mbaya I block them and unfriend them. Na pengine mchungaji kwa haraka sana kwa haraka sana utuambie wajibu wa kanisa ni upi kwa sekunde 30. Ah uh, wajibu wa kanisa ni kwamba we need to create awareness through our teachings and preachings tunafaa tuhubiri mambo haya na tunafaa tuyazungumzie kutoka kwa madhabahu. Number two, we are supposed to create an environment where people young people and those with doing these masturbations can feel not stigmatized as counselor amesema wakubali kusaidiwa. Kwa hivyo number one, we create awareness, we talk about it. Number two, tutengeneza mazingara ambayo watu watakuwa na urahisi kusema mm -hmm. e, na wanasaidia. Aha, na nikija kwako Nash, nataka utoe ujumbe kwa wale ambao uko kwenye hiyo hali, jinsi ambavyo wanaweza kutoka huku kile kikundi cha kapela kikijanda, nikiwapa nafasi ya kuweza kutupa wimbo mzuri tunapomaliza eh. Ehe, utashauri vipi yule ambaye yuko kwenye hiyo hali? Kwamba wewe uliweza kutoka. Mm. Unampa ushauri gani yule ambaye bado yuko kwenye hiyo hali? Asante. Kama una struggle na hii shida na imekushika sana kitu cha kwanza unafaa kufanya usinyamaze hiyo ndio inakuwa shida kubwa maana dhambi huu hupenda siri sana dhambi hupenda kufichwa sana ongea na upia usiongee tu kwa kila mtu kama venye mchungaji alituambia ile session nyingine ya kwamba uongee kwa mtu ambaye atakusaidia kwa sababu kinyamazia itaendelea kuwa kubwa na itafika mahali itakukandamiza na ikufunge kimaisha hautaendelea kazi hautaweza mambo mingi sana itende kisimama kama uko hapo there is still hope don't lose hope because Christ is in is in heaven na na ali overcome dhambi na akasema kila kitu ya kwamba it is finished kwa hivyo pia wewe Mungu amekuokoa ni venye tu ufike kwenye yako saa hizi. Amen. Amen. Haya basi shukrani sana mtazamaji kwa nasi na mimi kwamba umeweza kupata mengi ambayo yatakusaidia kama uko kwenye hiyo hali kama alivyosema Nash. Siongezi sipunguzi, katoa ujumbe kamili. Mchungaji kasema, mshauri kasema, daktari pia alitueleza mapema kwamba kuna jinsi ambavyo unaweza kusaidiwa. Lakini katika yote ni wewe mwenyewe kukubali kwamba nina shida na ninahitaji kusaidiwa. Adui wa mtu ni mtu mwenyewe. Mm. Unaweza kuwa una shida alafu mwenyewe unakataa kwamba sina shida, niko sawa. Utakufa kikondoo kwa sababu hautaki kusaidiwa. Lakini utakapokubali, hata Yesu mwenyewe halazimishi. Anasema amesimama mlangoni anabisha. Ukifungua, 
anaingia ukikata basi hata kulazimisha maamuzi ni yako naomba kwamba Mungu akusaidie ufanye maamuzi ya busara naitwa Ena Eli Luseno kipindi usasa na dini tunaondoka tukiacha wana akapela wakitupa kibao kizuri kabisa ambacho kinamalizia kipindi chetu usasa na dini juma hili barikiwa sana oh,